you have to be willing to say, this is what I know is true. And this is what I'm going to choose to share. And that's what I call a stake in the ground. It's your information that's important. A lot of times when I'm working with somebody, I'll say, write the book that you wish you would have had 10 years ago. Boom. I know we've talked about imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. When we let those, those negative voices come in, it's really pushing away our power. Mm -hmm. And when we get clear about who we are and what we offer in the world that's different than what anybody else, in, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a CPA, that CPA is, he's doing it differently. He has a different philosophy. He has a different mission with the clients that he's working with. And once you get that clarity, that is your golden idea. So what are the steps? What's a step that we could take to start well, getting that a, clarity? A, a step is what are you passionate about? What do you talk about with friends, whether they're interested or colleagues, <laughs> whether they're interested in the topic or not, but you are just feel compelled to be able to talk about it. You find whatever that topic is that you're sharing or that philosophy or that idea, and you just want to explore it and talk about it you're passionate about it. That's what you are a messenger about. That's where you get the clarity. It's not complicated. It's not like you have to go write a thesis on this. Mm -hmm. It's really, what are you passionate about? And within that passion, chipping away to say, oh, I do think about that differently than somebody else. Then that's your hook. That's your angle that's where you begin. And then you start to develop an outline for the book and you start flushing out the, the content that is within the book. Mm -hmm. So those are multiple steps, but the most important step is what are you gonna put your stake in the ground for? Okay. What is it that you want to share with the world? And again, you and I have spoken about this on other, uh, we did this on the masterclass recently, is that you don't need to write everything you've ever done in your life. Like the land if I can does not have all of my life experiences, as I explained to you, mm -hmm. you just have to cover the main point. What are you going to stand for? Mm -hmm. And there's most likely going to be other books, right? But you don't right. have to put everything in one book. And in fact, you don't want to put everything in one book because you want to put out that one main idea really get that it's your credibility piece it's your platform building piece you get known for that one idea and then there's a follow-up idea and then a follow-up idea to that so it will continue and and that's a good thing mm -hmm. but you don't try to put everything in one book when we put the stake in the ground we are making a commitment and even though creativity flows around us we don't go there we stay with the stake in the ground, okay? So we have to be willing. We have to have a willingness to put the stake in the ground and not stay out here. Like, should it be this? Should it be that? And then once we put the stake in the ground, we have to be committed to it mm -hmm. and not flounder again and go, oh, gee, all the Ooh. doubts are coming up. And I have a list here I'm going to read. I printed it out because I didn't want to forget everything. And I, I keep a list of all the things that I've heard people say Ooh. And I'm going to read that. Yeah, I yes. think you're going to really like that. But, <laughs> but when you put that stake in the ground, you have to stay with it and you have to see it through. Because again, if there's five things, well, then you pick one and then that's your first book. And then the follow-up book is maybe the second thing or perhaps the third thing. However, having said that, Anna, I have a suspicion that you could put all of the things that you just outlined with your unique take in one book. Nice. Because for you, when I hear you talk about neuroscience and I think leadership was in there, if yeah. not, because I, I know leadership, you, you are such a good model of that. Oh, um, thank you. I think all of those things fit together. Okay. And that is your golden idea because you do have a unique perspective. This is fantastic. You just have to be willing to put the stake in the ground and say, okay, I'm going to do it. Have you heard the position stand, Peter Docker talks a lot about it, where you, you stand 
your stand is what you the goodness that you see in the thing that you most care about versus a position being a firm you're against something and the difference being that if you take a position yes i have heard yeah now that you're i have heard him say that and i do agree with that so when i say stake in the ground it's really because a lot of people aren't grounded okay they're very creative and they stay out and i'm creative but i'm also very grounded mm -hmm. and so i know for myself when i have an idea it's a i have a list of ideas yeah. but but it's like which one has the most juice <clears throat> or are there a few that come together and, and how do you know you tune into yourself you know inside you you just doubt yourself interesting you have that answer we all intuitively in fact the land of i can says the power is in the knowing you have to be willing to say this is what i know is true and this is what i'm going to choose to share and that's what i call a stake in the ground okay so that is in essence your stand it is really it is, is. and it's your stand for today as you grow your stand may expand right absolutely. your stand may shift but it's where you are today because the knowledge that you have today can and will make a difference for other people let's talk about when we're putting that stake in the ground the fear that you you just mentioned three different things there you talked about our inability to commit so a fear of maybe not getting the right thing or of not trusting ourselves our fear of commitment abs you that you nailed all three yep and there's a like i said i'm going to real list here but there's all kinds of demons that come up and it's your job to get clear to get the clarity of who you are and what you want to share and put on the blinders for all the the demons that are going to crop up help us with the the blinders after you're done telling us about the demons because i believe yeah, that is yeah, very yeah. useful stuff. well here here's something um you know a lot of people that do the kind of work that i do are called book midwives i don't care for that term but it is if you google it you will find a lot of people and it's with good reason mm -hmm. because when you are writing then publishing, then promoting a book, you are birthing a book. You are giving birth to that information. And just like every baby that's born is unique, every book that is born is unique. And the process is painful, it's messy, <sighs> it's not easy, but it's going through the birth process, which is where I say the commitment comes in. You have to have the commitment because it's not going to be easy mm -hmm. and you are going to run into demons and you are going to run into roadblocks. And the only way you're going to get around that is to, is to access that inner power, that inner knowing that you have something to share and, and it's worth something to not just to you, because it will help you in your business and your positioning. And your credibility but to serve to help other people mm -hmm. a lot of times when i'm working with somebody i'll say write the book that you wish you would have had 10 years ago boom because i mean each one of us have have gone on our path in life and we've gathered important information and it's come through the lens of our experience and we have something to share so it's it, it's it's wiping away the imposter syndrome that is normal i had it when the books finally arrived and i'm pulling out a, got the box open and i'm pulling out the first copy of the the land of ikean i was i was struck with who am i to put my name on this book because i felt like it, it was like channeled information like it just came to me mm -hmm. and i was like who am i to put my name on this and then I looked at it and was like, well, who am I not? You know, I have a, a, a website called Messengers on a Mission because I do believe that the people that I work with are messengers and are often on, on a mission. But that's the term messenger came to me in that moment. Like, okay, I am the messenger. I have received this information. And as the messenger, I'm willing to deliver. 
the information. That's so it's powerful. really stepping into your power. Mm -hmm. And anything else is just noise. It's going to keep that from happening right it doesn't feel like noise though because it fit it physically manifests as gut rot and all kinds of crap brain fog is really some people get really tired overwhelmed like it physically well, manifests I, yeah and i do think anna that's why there are people like me in the world that often you need a coach yeah you need somebody who can get you through the bumps and around, you know, or over the mountains and down into the valley. Um, I'm working with a woman right now who we have gone, we've gone over the mountain and she's doing well, but we had some mountain climbing to do. She did really well for the first couple of months we worked together because she's in a one year plan, mm -hmm. but she did really well initially. And then she got to a certain point with a book where she just completely stalled and she right. began to question herself. And she began, she, she was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. And what I shared with her, and I think is important for everybody who's listening to this recording is that it's your information that's important. The writing of it has to get down in a draft format. That's a clear outline that you, you, you know, the points that you're covering within the outline. And then very often it's the job of the editor to get it in a good readable flow you know you don't have to have gotten a degree in journalism or been writing and consider yourself a writer in order to write a book it's the content that you're bringing it's your unique perspective that you're bringing it's something that's going to make a difference in someone else's life so leave mm -hmm. that work to the editor